Arriving by bike, bus, or car, a handful of Ole Miss students and faculty took part in today's commuter challenge. Organized by Mike Mossing, the event timed each mode of transportation to show how earth-friendly commuting compares to driving a car to work or class. People that Oxford is a town that really built uh, so that you can get around without a car. There's a lot of places that do this commuter challenge. New York City does it every year. It's, a, it's an arduous ordeal. It's a 45-minute deal. Oxford, you can get from one end to the other in just a few minutes in a bike or a bus. With each participant traveling 2.2 miles, biker Eddie Smith led the pack in a arrival time of 7 minutes 43 seconds. Bus riders came in a couple of minutes later, and carpoolers had an arrival time of less than 11 minutes. I do. I live just right off campus. I live about a mile from, from where my classes are, so I ride pretty much every day. I don't have to. I didn't even buy a parking sticker this year. According to Mossing, transportation accounts for 70% of the liquid fuels consumed in the U.S., with personal vehicles accounting for 60% of that total. And if you go, if you don't have to drive a car every day, or if you just cut down on half your trips, that is going to take a huge wedge out of, out of the buildup of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. To learn more about the Commuter Challenge or other Ole Miss Green Week activities, visit our website.